Hi, welcome to this episode of the Menifee County School Update. I'm Jody Blackburn, Director of High Quality Instructional Systems. My goal is to talk to you a little bit today about how we can inform parents on students' progress thus far in the school year. It's hard to believe, but we're already halfway through the first nine weeks of school. Yesterday, K through eight students should have brought home midterm reports. Midterm reports serve as a place for us to stop and look at the progress made so far before the end of the first nine weeks. We encourage you to take this time to sit down with your student and look at those reading and math scores. Celebrate with them their achievements. They have put in so much hard work. Also use this time to talk to your students about where they might be struggling in their classes. If you have concerns about some of the grades on the, on the report cards, on the progress reports, we encourage you to either email, send a dojo message, or give the school a call and set up an appointment where you could sit down and talk with the teacher in a one-to-one -one setting. At the bottom of the progress reports, or perhaps in a parent letter that's attached, you should find information about the iReady assessment. iReady is a diagnostic test that students take online. What's great about the iReady test is that it's adaptive, meaning that as school as students show mastery with one skill, the questions will increase in difficulty. This allows us to see where we can excel and enrich student learning. If a student struggles while taking the iReady assessment, the skill level will lower. What this does is it allows teachers to really diagnose and find where students are struggling so that they can plan instruction that is tailored directly to the needs of that student. You may also find on the progress report, especially in your primary classes, that would be um, first through third, uh, assessment data for the F&P. The F&P assessment is a one-on-one -on -one setting where a teacher gets to sit and listen to the student read. At the end of the text, the teacher will ask the student some simple comprehension questions. This assessment is used so that teachers can put students into small groups where they get to work on texts that are just a little bit above their independent reading level. During these small groups, teachers work with students on strategies, word attack skills, phonics, uh, comprehension strategies, anything that might help that student so that they can get to the next level of reading. High school students should have brought home their midterm reports last week. Again, this is an opportunity to sit down with your student and talk with them about the progress they've made this year. High school students are beginning to think about their transition readiness. So I encourage you to talk to them. How are they doing in their career and technical pathway classes? Are they enrolled in dual credit? If so, those scores will not show on their progress report and have to be checked through the college campus. This is something that the school is unable to do, so we encourage you to sit down with your student and have them pull up that progress report for you. High school students will be taking their diagnostic assessment next week. They will be taking a new assessment that's called CERT. The CERT test is also online. It will test students in English, reading, math, and science, and it's set up like the ACT test. When students finish with the test, they will receive individualized data as well as individualized tutoring options where students can see exactly what questions they missed and how to go back and correct those answers. Today, while students are enjoying their day off, teachers are working together in grade level and vertical teams to use all of this data to plan rigorous, engaging instruction that will meet the personal needs of every student. We truly encourage you to take this time to sit down, look at the progress reports, talk about these, these assessment results with your student, help them set goals before the end of this nine weeks. And of course, if you have any concerns at all, please make sure you reach out to the classroom teacher. This can be done via email or a quick uh, call to the school. Together, communicating, we can make sure that all students succeed in Menifee County. It's a great year. Thank you.